Good morning, this is Mike Palmer from Mike Palmer Homes. Wanted to make a quick video to illustrate a couple of concepts here. We've got framing going on on a new home here. But what I want to point out here is we're pouring concrete. Now usually we don't pour concrete. But this one, we don't pour concrete till the end to keep it protected and keep as little traffic on it as possible. However, we really didn't have a choice here because we have to put a load-bearing wall here. So we had to dig a trench and put a, a reinforced foot, a thickened slab there. And we're going to have a load uh, wall on top of it that's got to support ceiling beams for our garage. So we had to pour it early, but we'll get some plastic on there and keep it corrected um, and keep it protected. Now, this is not finished yet. They're just letting it dry up so they can run their trowels on it. But in the front here, this is where your garage door sits. And I really like the way these guys do this, that little half inch lip there. That way if there's any snow or water, it can't get up into the garage. Now it is all pitched to flow out, but still you end up, sometimes you end up with water in there. So that little piece there is really a nice touch. Now they're gonna be putting uh, control joints in here as well. And those are those grooves you see in the concrete because concrete cracks, it's one of its characteristics. So they put, when they put that groove there, you try to get the concrete to crack in that groove. Uh, so it stays as nice, you know, you don't see cracks on the on the main surface now over there where it meets the framing It's really close to the top of the cinder block um, And that's because this lot slopes. It's got a severe slope in the back You can stand up in that crawl space and still not you know, reach up high and still not touch the floor system. So We kept this slab up as high as we possibly could Now what's nice there is when you enter the house right there we're only going to need one step and if you watch any of my other videos you know i hate getting a whole big set of stairs in the garage because it does several things it does the stairs protrude out and they take up your parking space and also when you're carrying groceries in or coming in and out of the house that is your most frequently used path of travel and the less steps you have to contend with the better anyway that's our concept for today if you have any questions please contact us at the numbers below and we appreciate you visiting our site